Washi Bane, Washi Rose. So before we start to discuss our topic, we will be having a short role play. So, Shuba! Lights, camera, action! Ni hao bane. Ni hao dan dai. Hao de. Here's your notebook. Kishini. Kukusi. Senda. Bye bye. Hope you understood the role play we did. So let's start our discussion. So our topic for today is all about the Chinese literature. So Chinese. Refer to their country as Middle Kingdom, which serves as an indication how they consider themselves central to be throughout history. So, their culture appears to be uniform. Next is geography. Geography, China is the world's third largest nation. It is surrounded by Russia and Mongolia to the north, India to the southwest, and Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, and South China Sea to the south. In the east, there's the east, which is China Sea. Next is linguistic affiliation. The official language of China is Mandarin Chinese, which was also known as Fatangwa. So, Fatangwa, to please spell it, P-U-T-O-N-G-H-U-A. Next is, so this is the example of Mandarin Chinese, alphabetically. So, in English, A to Z. There are also different dialects used in China. Yu, Cantonese, Xiang, Shunanese, Minbe dialect, Shuxiao, Wu dialect, Shanghai, Minan, Hokkien Taiwanese, Dan dialect, and Hakka dialect. So, we have a short video. Just watch this video. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni jiao shen ma? Wa jiao li li. Ni ji sui? Wa ba sui. Ni shi na guo ren? Wa shi ba lai xi ya ren? 你会说中文吗? 我会说中文 你家有几口人? 我家有七口人 你的家有谁? 我的家有爸爸、妈妈、哥哥、弟弟 姐姐、妹妹和我。你的爸爸几岁？我的爸爸四十岁。你的哥哥几岁？我的哥哥十岁。你爱你的家人吗？ 我爱我的家人 So that is the example of Mandarin Chinese. So let's talk about the Chinese writing system. So it has 6,000 characters. But there's only 5,000 characters used in daily lives. It is a tonal language wherein words are differentiated. Not just in sounds, but also in intonation. Let's proceed on Chinese literature. So Chinese literature is one of the major literacy heritage in the world. According to March 2016, ancient Chinese script evolved from the, from the practice of divination. So during the Shang Dynasty 1600 to 1046 before the Common Era. The pictographs made on oracle bones by diviners became the script known as Jiagowen. Sao Shan, 
700 before the common era to present. Li Shu, the so-called clear key script, 500 before the common era. So, develop Kao Shu, Sing Shu, Kao Shi, and cursive scripts. Next, early Chinese writings were not popular. Mark also cited that paper was invented in 105 before the Common Era during the Han Dynasty. So 200, 202 BCE to 220 Common Era. So process of woodblock print, printing developed during the Tang Dynasty 618 to 907 Common Era. So because literary works were done on wood, bamboo, or silk. In, in early Han literature, Chinese written works were mostly about story, ghost stories and myths. Philippe, 2017, cited that the Shou so Dynasty, 1030 to 221, BC saw some of the earliest forms of literature. Prose poetry flourished under the Han Dynasty, 202 BC to AD 220. The Tang Dynasty of the 7th through 10th century marked the golden age of Chinese literature. So, the novel arose, arose during the Song Dynasty, 960 to 1279. So let's proceed. Most recognized authors of his Chinese literature. According to Philippe, 2014, here are the 10 Chinese greatest writers from the end of Hu Dynasty to the 20th century. So, first author is Chu Yuan, 339 to 278. Before Christ. Shu Yuan was a statesman and poet during the Warring States period. He has been attributed to the first seven poems of the Chu Shi, Songs of Chu. He served under King Wei but was banished after composing the foe when Li Sao encountering sorrow. When attacked, the court for failing to listen to his advice. So, this is the example of Shu Yuan work. Next is Wang Wei, 701 to 761. Wang Wei was a painter, musician, poet, and devout Buddhist. He was referred to as Shifu or the Buddha of poetry. Composed landscape poems, to the poet Shu Shi said of his work, there is a painting in his poetry and poetry in his painting. So this is the example of Wang Wei work. Then the third one is Shinaya. Shinaya 1296 to 1372. Shinaya was the author of the first of the four great classical novels. So there is four great classical novels. Water Margin was written in popular vernacular and expanded on its character. Though some historians believe his mentor, Lu Wo Guangxiong. So this is Lu Wo Guangxiong. Lu Wo Guangxiong, 1332-1400. Lu Wo Guangxiong was a prolific writer who has had many anonymous works attributed to him over the years. It was based on a historical account and contained historical figures but also incorporated folk stories and plots from popular dramas of the time. Historians agree that the second of the fourth great classical novels, which is Romance of the Three Kingdom by Luo Guangxiong. Last, a eh, the fifth one is Wu Cheng N, 1502-1582. He was the author to whom the third of the fourth great classical novels, C.U.G. Journey to the West, is attributed. The novel contained religious themes, witty dialogue, and elegant poems, as well as critical commentary 
and contemporary Ming era China. So this is the example of four great classical novels. The Persian is Romance of the Taking Dance, Journey to the West, The Water Margin, The Dream of the Red Chamber. Next, Laughing Scholar of Lanyin. So this one, The Golden Lutus, is one of the work by Jing Ting Me. So this was the pseudonym of the unknown author of the controversial novel Jin Ping Me, The Palm in the Golden Vase. So American translator David Todroy suspected poet Xu Wei in 1521-1593 to be its author. So Wei was famous for his paintings and calligraphy. Next, Kao Shu Ken. He is Kao Shu Ken, 715-1593. 1763 or 1764, he was the author of the fourth of the great classical novels. Hong Lu Meng means Dream of the Red Chamber. So the novel was written in vernacular and published in two editions. The 80 chapter versions reportedly based on Cao's life. Next, Luzon, 1881 to 1936. In 1918, he published his first, his first short story, A Madman's Diary. So the first colloquial story in modern Chinese literature. So his writing comprised many genres, from fiction to sawen or satire. So a historical account of Chinese fiction. Next, Bajin, 1904 to 2005, born Li Yaotang. He began his career as a poet but achieved fame as a novelist. His most famous novel was Jia, means the family, in addition to these novels. Bajin, he also translated Russian, British, German, and Italian works. Bajin's most, most famous later works was Xu Shang. Last, Shang Eilin, or Shang Eilin, or Ilian Shang. 1920-1995 She was a student during Japanese occupation of Hong Kong during the World War II. She returned to her, she returned to her home in Shanghai and supported herself by publishing short stories and novels. She wrote the Aitai Community's novel Rise, Sprout Song in 1952, and moved to the United States three years later. That's, That's the end of our <laughs> discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>